My name is Jack and I'm a passionate angler and in this series of films I'm trying to catch a hundred different species of fish in Britain. In the final episode of this series I'm going after one very rare little fish, the butterfly blenny. How are we all doing? Well today I am in Weymouth. It is a beautiful morning. I'm going aboard, uh, if you can see, that yellow boat there which is the Flamer 5 and we're on a species hunt. Slightly different species hunt today because we're after a very rare tiny fish, the butterfly blenny. So fingers crossed we can get one. We're gonna have a go for red band fish and some other stuff as well. So let's see what we can get. I'm aboard Flamer 5 from Weymouth today with skipper Colin Penny. As I'm starting to get to some of the harder to track species, I'm having to put in some research and I found on Colin's website a photo of a butterfly blenny. I chucked him a quick email asking to charter the boat just to catch a blenny, which I think, to be honest, he thought I might have been taking the piss, but nonetheless, he agreed. The second challenge was convincing seven other people to join me, which was actually a lot easier than I first thought. We had a real mix of people on the boat, from total novices to expert anglers. We had Scott Hutchinson along, who could probably take the prize for most determined species angler in the UK, as he'd driven down from central Scotland for this. If you don't already, I highly recommend his blog, which is a must for any species hunter. We had Ben Bassett and a couple of LRF anglers also, who are the real masters at catching mini species, and my old partner in fishy crime, Mark Everard. So essentially, we had the fishy Avengers assembled. I do seem to be very lucky with these boat trips, as the weather was yet again flat calm and a gorgeous sunrise. The plan was simple, fish in a few areas that Colin has had butterfly blennies before, and then try some other marks for as many species as possible. Part of my ulterior motive for this trip was to catch a butterfly blenny to photograph for an upcoming UK fish ID book I'm working on. They are seldom caught from the shore, and I don't scuba dive anymore, so the only option was to get the fish to me and take a few images in a tank before releasing it back. My tactics were pretty simple, a one up one down rig with size 14 hooks and a piece of ragworm, so I'm covering the sea floor and just above it. Ben and the more hardcore lurfers were also after the butterfly blenny, but strictly using artificials. As soon as the rods went over, pretty much all of us got into fish. I have to admit, I have such a great love for the LRF community. They've been so incredibly kind and generous with regards to helping me track down species. I do enjoy using lures and isome from time to time, but if it's a case of just getting the fish up, I tend to find bait is best. However, I may eat those words later in the video. Rats were pretty quick to get caught, with Rockcook, Ballon and Corkwing all landed. And this unfortunate one had two parasitic isopods on its head. I then got one of the prettiest fish in the UK, the Cuckoo Rats. And to finish off our Rats Bonanza, a small baleons. They often get quite a bit of confusion, but are different to Ballon Rats. Mark even caught what we suspect was the British record, as the current record is 10 ounce, and this one looked much bigger. John caught a red mullet, fishing dead on the bottom, and a few tubbed gurnards came out, including my first ever. Lovely tub gurnard. See the blue pex there. New species, nice one. Get it back. <laughs> the blues on the pectoral fins were incredible on these fish. Scott also caught a smooth hound, the only one that came onto the boat that day. I'd had a blast catching the little guys, so I wanted to feel a bend in the rod. 
I put some heavier gear out with a piece of mackerel on and straight away caught a couple of dogfish. Not long after, something with a bit more fight took the bait and to my surprise, it was a small taupe, my first ever. These sharks are in the same family as blue sharks and get over 80 pounds, so this was a pup. With all the excitement, it can be easy to forget why you were there, so we headed back to the butterfly blenny spot to have one more good go for them. In some kind of weird magical moment, we actually saw a butterfly on the boat, which I can only take as a sign from Poseidon, as shortly after, I caught a butterfly blenny. These fish typically live in deeper water over broken shells. I ended up catching another one, and then so did Mark, where you can see where they get the name with the large butterfly wing-like dorsal fin. Shortly after, Scott got one, to which I was delighted for him, as he'd come a long way for that little fish. It turns out these little buggers bite, and they don't let go. It actually hurt, to be honest. Wanting to go out on an even bigger high, we headed to some muddy, deep water to try for a very weird fish, the red band fish. The males on these are pretty small, but they are predatory. The bait was getting nothing, but Ben chucked out a metal, and to everyone's shock, including his own, he got a red band fish. The colours on it were incredible. A couple of other people got them also, though not me, but I can honestly say I was just chuffed to see one on the boat. This was definitely a case where artificials were king. In total, we got 21 species on the boat that day, and thinking about going out again to see if we can hit 30. Maybe that'll be another video. It was such a thrill to go to all this effort and actually get what you set out to catch, which has given me some confidence and ideas for some really weird species in the next series. If you enjoyed this vid, do check out the others. There's 20 episodes on the channel now, and you can watch them all in the playlist link below. As I said, go check out Scott's blog, it's great for species hunting, and Ben Bassett also does a fantastic LRF blog. I'll be making more vids this summer, and releasing them later in the year. Hope you enjoyed them, and tight lines. Cheers. Thanks for watching. If you want to support the channel, liking the video and subscribing to the channel really helps me out. But you can also donate to my buymeacoffee.com link and all the money that from that goes back into making new films for the YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. You can check out some other videos in the links here. Also check out my website and social media as well as the podcast that I host, The Bearded Tits Podcast. Cheers.